Hi everyone, I'm back with another really good recipe for the whole family. It's a raw spaghetti marinara and it's really, really easy to make. You need zucchinis for your spaghetti pot and I'm going to spiralize them in my lovely little thingy. And also there's a lot of tomatoes obviously involved, about uh, one and a half cup of tomatoes and I'm going to de-seed these. And I'm also using a little bit of sun-dried tomatoes. So this is what you need, two zucchinis for the spaghetti pot. Um, you need tomato, something that is really sweet and lovely would work really well. We need to chop them up and take out the seeds and we need one and a half cup and also half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes and these have been in oil as you can see. So I'm not going to use any extra oil. If you use the ordinary dried one, put some extra oil in, maybe two um, tablespoons, something like that. We also need fresh basil and um, two garlic cloves, I'm going to use two cloves of that, and we also need some uh, oregano, dried oregano, two teaspoons of that, and one teaspoon of vinegar, and also loads of black pepper. So the first thing we do is to cut up the sun-dried tomatoes, and we need half a cup. Okay, so you put them all in a mixing bowl, and why don't you just put the vinegar in as well. If you have balsamic vinegar, that will work really, really well. I, I've just run out, so I've just used ordinary apple cider vinegar, but that works fine as well. And the dried oregano, just so you've got that there. And now we're going to de these lovely tomatoes and chop them up as well. We need one and a half cup of tomatoes. I just de them and I put it all in, in a bowl so I can use it later, like for a or sauce or, or like a ketchup type thing. So just to seed them first and then just cut them up into quite small pieces. So the tomatoes goes in, mix it up. And then garlic, we're going to use two cloves and just chop it up quite finely. This is going to be so good for my, uh, for my cold. Okay, it goes in the mixing bowl. And I'm going to chop up two tablespoons of fresh basil and a lot of black pepper. Okay, so now we do this spiralizing type magic. But you know, you can use an ordinary uh, peeler as well. It, it also works really well. If you don't want to use courgettes, I mean, use ordinary pasta. A gluten-free pasta is really good. Um, I mean, if your kids are not really up for this many vegetables. I mean, then you at least got a sauce that's raw. So, you know, see what works for you. Now, if you wanted to prepare this a bit earlier, if you have guests or do you just want to do it earlier, then you might know that the zucchini starts being a bit watery and you can end up with quite a lot of water on your plate. So what you could do is just spiralize everything um, put a bit of uh, Himalayan crystal salt in it and that will draw out the water and then you can just rinse it and uh, then it will be fine for many hours so that's a tip you could do I mean if you have a, a raw dinner party or something like that and you just uh, fancy cooking when the guests are there so we've got all our spaghetti on one plate and I'm going to just mix in a lovely, lovely tomato mix, marinara. So it just goes on top. And of course, in Italy, you would um, mix this up and not just put it on top, but it looks a bit nicer if it's just on top, I think, anyway. It is quite nice also to mix it up and let it just marinate for about five minutes. It, that, that tastes really nice. But for the purpose of this video, um, I'm just going to leave it like that. Oops. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and come back next week for another video. I hope you liked this recipe and if you did, please like and subscribe if you're not already doing so. Have a fabulous week and I will see you soon.